I need to build a voltage regulator that can deliver more current than the power source charger adapter I've shown previously. While I was shopping on Amazon, I bought a new set of wire strippers, which are bloody good. This here is a prototype power supply I built that I used recently when I was camping up at the Big Red Bash. And this green top with the voltage regulator on top and just this cigarette lighter adapter on it, I used with the Makita battery to run my CPAP machine. I needed two Makita batteries to get me through the night, but this delivers more current than the previous unit I tried, which was this shoe that fits on a Makita battery, and I was just using a outlet on the side of this, which doesn't deliver enough current. My uh, car adapter, when I breathe, breathe in deeply, the car adapter light was going from green which is good to orange which was bad and the machine was uh, not pumping the pressure i needed so this was a good trial unit to, it actually runs my cpap machine but not at the higher pressures constantly so that that's a torch and a uh, usb port this unit using basically a shoe like that with just the two terminals. I've got the negative connected to the multimeter. You can see the base battery voltage at the moment is 20.28 volts. Now it says a Makita batteries are 18 volt. It will drop to 18 volts as it wears down, but that needs to be regulated down to a voltage similar to a car battery. Uh, or a car cigarette lighter type voltage which is up around as high as 15 volts so that's what i've achieved here i've got this wire plugged in to the uh, cigarette lighter and comes around just to that terminal there which is the red positive um, getting 14.7 volts which is a good voltage for the DC to DC converter car adapter that plugs into this system and it will deliver that sort of voltage until the battery itself decides it's uh, discharged down to a level where it will stop delivering power it's a safe point built into the battery that uh, stops delivering power and your machine, your CPAP machine stops at that point. You usually wake up because you've lost power to your machine and quickly swip, swap another battery into it. I got through three nights sleeping like that up at the Big Red Bash because my car battery was having problems and I was getting the Makita batteries charged on a Makita charger like that one uh, by a mate that had a uh, inverter and solar panels on their rig up at the Big Red Bash. So as long as I went to bed with two charged Makita batteries, I could get through the night. And it's this rig here, this prototype, that's uh, prompted me to go ahead and build the new uh, item which has the voltmeter and the cigarette lighter built into the casing and an on off switch on it as well as i said this is a prototype it utilizes a an lm7815 15 volt voltage regulator you can see the little one just sticking out the end under that black wire there that's part of the heat sink for it just a little lm7815 which is a 15 volt regulator you get a 0.6 volt drop on the uh, output of that when you connect it to the base of a power transistor now i've used a real old school power transistor a 2n3055 i was using these 40 years ago when i was at uh, 
college doing electronics. It's a very simple circuit where you tie the base of the power transistor to the output of the 15 volt regulator. And it will uh, give you a 14.7 volt as, it, as we saw a moment ago uh, output which is regulated. The problem with this very basic voltage regulator circuit is it has to burn off the voltage between in this case 20 volts and 15 volts. That 5 volts gets burnt off at, at the current that the transistor is delivering. So if you're delivering 2 amps of uh, current, maybe 10 watts of uh, power is lost to heat. That's why the heat sinks on the... Look, in reality, when I was using this on my CPAP machine, that heat, heat sink was just... Uh, you could just feel a very low temperature, low heat going into that heat sink, uh, but it's there and it highlights that it's not the ideal voltage regulator circuit for doing what I'm doing, but it will uh, work uh, for now and I will look at some sort of switching voltage regulator that uh, is more efficient than this in future. A Makita battery can deliver quite a high current when you consider it can run a five inch angle grinder for half an hour and it's as powerful as a mains powered one. A cigarette lighter socket in a car should be able to deliver about 10 amps or 120 watts, sometimes used to run a small inverter. The 2N3055 power transistor used on this prototype circuit is good for up to 15 amps. The LM7815 provides a regulated 15 volts to the base of the power transistor at very low current. This simple voltage regulator has been fine running my CPAP machine delivering more current than the previous setup. Although it can deliver much higher current, it's not ideal in those situations. Another application would be a car fridge being run off a Makita battery down on the beach run with an adapter like this. In part three, I will show my new adapter housing design. So get out to your shed and have some fun.